What's up everybody? Adam here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Goal Zero Portable Solar Charger. So this is going to be great for when you're off grid. Maybe you're just camping out in one of your smaller little trailers. So with this, this is going to give us about 5 volts of output at 1.5 amps. What does that mean? Well, the little block chargers that you plug into your house, that's usually around the same amount of output that those put out. But this one's just going to take the sun and give it to you for free. So this is going to be a really convenient way just to keep your smaller devices charged or just to charge up some of the solar packs that we have here sold separately, of course. A couple different ways we can do this. One, if your devices don't really need a charge, like your phone and stuff, what you can do is prepare for that and just plug in some different types of Go Goal Zero battery packs. So this is a really small one. We have a little USB right here. So I can plug that in. And once that's plugged in, the second I open this up, it's gonna start charging. So you guys can't really see it, but the lights started to flash the second that I opened this up. So the second sun hits it, it's gonna start generating power. You can do something small like this, but for me, something small like this isn't really gonna charge up my phone too many times. So I wanna kinda of prepare for that and just by using a little bit larger one. So this has completely zero charge. So let's go ahead and open this up. We have a little stand just like this. So let's get this kind of all opened up. Get that sun hitting it just like this. And then whatever kind of different battery pack or charger that you have, just plug the cable in. And then you can plug this in. So this charger right here, literally right away, it's starting to blink. So we know that it's starting to pump that juice. So the good thing about this one is, it's gonna take about nine to 14 hours to charge a bigger pack like this. But this pack is gonna be good for a couple different charges on multiple different devices. So depending on your situation, just grab a battery pack. I highly recommend getting that just because you can prepare for your devices not having a charge just by charging up the pack. But then of course, what we could also do is just pan it out like this, take my little iPhone charger, plug this in like that. And then I can just charge my device directly. So a lot of different ways you can do it. And I do think this is a product that is really gonna shine when you piece it together with other products just because a lot of the times I'm not just looking to charge just my phone and I don't really want to keep all my stuff out. So a battery pack would be a good thing to add to this. But just the fact that I can charge this using the sun, that is free energy. So this solar panel will slowly pay itself off as you start to use it because it's free and I like free. So one way I would actually use this in real life, I would put this on my backpack so it's about nine and a half inches wide and about 14 and a half inches long, and only three quarters of an inch thick. So what I would do is just put it on my backpack like this. So as of right now, I have this soaking up all the juice from the sun and it's going to my little battery pack on the side. But then I have the battery pack connected to my phone on this side. So the phone's getting juice, my battery pack's getting juice and it's actually putting out less to my phone than what it's taking in. So it's gonna continuously charge. So when I'm hiking, might as well just have it up and open because why not? I'm walking and my, might as well just gain a little bit of juice while you're walking. So I really like this for camping and hiking and stuff. So this is how I would actually use it. Whenever we're done using it, you can just fold it up just like this and it's not that big. It's about nine and a half inches long and about seven and a half inches wide. And then it's about an inch and a half thick once it's all condensed down. So this is like the same size as an iPad. So I have a little iPad slot right here. So it just slides in just like that. And it's perfect. Super, super convenient, very easy to store. So you're not gonna have to figure out a place to put this. Just put it in a backpack and then you're good to go. I really like this thing just because anything solar, I just think is great just because half the time when I'm out and I need to charge, I don't have an outlet because I'm outside, but the sun's usually shining. It's actually pretty cool right now. It's about 30-ish degrees. 
and we're gonna get full output with this thing. Even when it's overcast, you're still gonna get full output. It's when the temperatures start to rise, we might not get 100% output when it's maybe like 100, 110 degrees on the surface. So just be mindful of that, but a lot of the situations that I'm usually in, I'm gonna get pretty much a full output of the solar pack. Nowadays with hiking and camping and stuff, power is something we kind of need. Whether you're just making sure you have a phone to call somebody if something goes wrong, or you just want to make sure that your phone is all charged up so you can take those pictures, or even just the GoPros. Whether you're just trying to capture memories or whatever, I definitely think that having some sort of solar in your arsenal whenever you're going out, wherever it may be, is definitely something that you should think about. And that'll do it for a look at the Goal Zero Portable Solar Pack.